Mm-hmm. So Ben, how, how important is it that the nutritional aspect of, of losing weight as well? Because we all know we have to cut down on the amount of food we eat, but how about other maybe tips that you can give as well as someone's trying to lose weight? The whole nutrition thing, it's so important when it comes to getting results. A lot of people, and you'll see it you know, in gyms, they train five, six, seven times a week, and they're not getting the results they want. Mm-hmm. And that's just because they've not looked at the nutrition. And it's right. sometimes what a lot of people use exercise for is they think, right, I'll run on the treadmill 20 minutes and then go and eat this, that, and that. Anything. <laughs> but you, you, know, you, have to, you have to get the, the two, two you know, together. If you look at yeah. the average marathon runners, you know, they, they couldn't train any more, but you'll still see lots of overweight runners, not talking about the elite level guys, the, you know, the normal crowd fun runners. So you've got yeah. to get the nutrition in place, otherwise it's going to be a lot of effort without the rewards you deserve. Okay, and you're going to be telling us more about that because we have got some questions from our yeah, viewers definitely. about nutrition as well. So if um, someone does want to lose some weight along with an exercise regime, what's the best kind of nutrition advice you can give a person? Well, first of all, it's just taking a, a long-term approach. What a lot of people do is they just go crazy and they stop eating for three days or four days. But what ends up is, you know, maybe five days later you quit and then you go crazy. Do you want to advise those fad diets then that Definitely a lot not, of you know, do, it's, especially celebrities? Definitely. The celebrities do that, you know, they're highly motivated and, you know, and they can yeah. focus to and stick to it. They've got a lot of rewards. But for most people, it brings out that resentment cycle where uh-huh. they'll stick to a few days and then they'll fail away. So when you've got a long term approach, yeah. then we can, you know, start getting some good advice to which you actually follow through. Okay then. I'd just like to bring a couple of questions from our viewers because we have got quite a few. So I'll start with a, a fitness one. Um, this lady is Anna and she's asking, what is the best time to exercise? I have heard that if you are overweight, you should exercise after you eat. And if you are at the weight you want to be, you should exercise before you eat. Does it really matter? And if so, why and how? And she's a big hug for and congratulations because the show is amazing. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, so that maybe that's the one that you can both answer because it's yeah, I mean, yeah. The, for most normal people, they shouldn't really worry about it too much. Is what I'd be saying. You know, there's yeah. different studies, just like time of exercise. There's different studies about like six in the morning, six at night. It was done like Olympic athletes. You know, for the normal person, it's trying to work out what they've got to do. So for some people, if they're getting up to train at seven in the morning and they got mm-hmm. low blood sugar and they're feeling lightheaded in the gym. You know, it's a disaster not to try and eat something in that sense. So yeah. for this lady, she's trying to look at how it fits into her lifestyle. Okay, it's going to be probably more like important than difference. the befores and that. As far as actually being able to get results, whether you do or not, that sounds a bit of a, a myth, to be yeah. honest. I've not heard of anything yeah, saying I, I, that's, that's the first that, time I've heard of that, actually, as well. About something body shape reflecting you know, right. when Anything eat. you want to add to that, Rob? Okay. Uh, this is from Helena, and she says she's been trying to get fit at home with her exercise bike. But then as soon as she goes jogging, if she doesn't eat certain things, she feels weak or lightheaded. Um, then she says, they say I should eat bananas or nuts before a workout, but these do nothing for me. What's the best food to eat after and before a workout? I'm the kind that eats a light snack every two and a half hours. So in, in general, if you're eating all the time, then it's a sign. Yeah, it sounds like she is every two and a half hours. <laughs> Basically, we've got this ideal ratio that we need to eat per meal of protein, carbs to fat. Now, when you yeah. get it right, you'll become very energized post-eating. Mm-hmm. So you should be able to go three to four hours post-eating. The fact yeah. she says she's always eating suggests that she's not hitting that ratio. So what she needs to do is go back to an experiment with these macronutrients. So that could be maybe she needs to have two bananas and half the amount of nuts that she's been having and she might mm-hmm. do that and find she feels amazing or vice versa maybe she needs to have half a banana and more nuts yeah and that will change the ratio the everyone's now always on the lookout for some advice x y z a b c but you've got to link advice to how you feel so okay. she yeah. can do these experiments and see but right now you can guarantee she's getting those ratios wrong because if she wasn't she wouldn't be hungry every two two and a half yeah. hours and this is what you okay. see with people day in day out on their diets mm-hmm. they're eating at you know 8 a.m for breakfast then they get to work and they're snacking by 10 o'clock then they're eating yeah. at 12 then the mid-afternoon and it's just because they're never getting those ratios even close to being okay. right so mm-hmm. and if she'd like to when she's running good chance that's low blood sugar drop in as well so yeah yeah you know she'd need to look at these sort of aspects too okay then. okay Ben, is there anything, for example, any kind of particular foods that you can eat that will basically help with strength or with stamina with exercise? Yeah, definitely. It's about um, you know, making sure you're getting enough food. What happens to a lot of people on these diets is they cut out, they're already eating low fat, they're going to eat low carb, they don't have much protein anyway, so effectively mm-hmm. they're like 
eating lettuce almost and then they wonder why they're weak in a training yeah. session so yeah. it's important to start eating properly so we want to be getting protein carbs and fat at each meal and we need to be getting enough for our body to be able to effectively do stuff in yeah. training sessions